got stumped by Nirvana High Ballad. Huh? These idiots were so preoccupied that everyone on Earth caught on fire. Our oh, heroes travel back in time to tell their past selves how to make global warming decline. Oh, Our tributes and using spells and traps one time. Two journey rules are the reason we'll survive. The reason we'll survive. The reason we'll survive. No idea what I'm doing here. Oh, hi there! I didn't see you there. I was just making our carefully crafted and very well-experienced ban list. Yeah, okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. 2018 was the first of three years I took on hiatus from the game, which makes it all the more impressive that I know many of the names on this list because of the terrified whispers of them on the breaths of every Yu-Gi-Oh! player ever since. 2018 is a who's who of cards Konami should never have printed. There's a lot of them, so without further ado, Let's get into the cards to watch. 2018 was a great year for Yu-Gi-Oh! players. If by Yu-Gi-Oh! players, you mean generic Link payoffs. Starting with Konami's biggest mistake of the year, Topologic Gumblar Dragon. How did this make it out of the boardroom? It discards upwards of four cards from your opponent's hand, easy to loop, and you get the extra Link alongside it if you play the right deck. Uh, God, Konami reads even less than we do. Other generic things include Boral Sword Dragon, Saryuja, the Nightmares, including Corruptor Ibli, and some extra combo pieces like Azold and Summon Sorceress. These are a lot of cards that all serve to make the format god-awful, and I hope that we take away their power today. Wind-Up Zen Maintenance starts off our list of archetypes by reminding us of all the wind-up cards we have chosen not to hit on this list. Then there are the Gokis. They're here, and much like Junior Format as a whole, the Gokis were expected to be a big bungus beatdown deck, but turned out to be a combo fest like everything else. The Thunder dragons have arrived. I really like these cards, especially... Uh, uh, okay, I don't like Colossus, but it, it's cool and it's here, and we're probably going to have to ban it today. They also have Chaos Dragon Levianir, probably my favorite 2018 card, and it is every bit as good in junior format as it was in the TCG. The dangers are also very relevant in junior format, particularly Nessie, Tsuchinoko, and Jackalope, and Bigfoot, which can be normal summoned. The Mech Knights, Orcus, and Crusadias are also archetypes in here that are pretty good as long as Link Spam is effective. But Junior Journey isn't all doom and gloom in 2018. There are some cards that I expect to be benefited in a positive way from the Junior Format rules. Chaos Emperor, the penned version, has a very good penned effect, and because it can be special summoned from the extra deck via its effect without having to be pendulum summoned, we're in pretty good shape for that one to turn up in the format. Darkest Diabolos is also normal summonable without tribute, and Dampier is probably easier to make with level 6s that don't have to be tribute or special summoned in order to put them on the board. Pancratops is also normal summonable. There's no way that's a problem for the format, right? There's also Doom King Ballardrock. I wish. And Giant Ballpark is very funny when all the spells you need is the one field spell. Some cards that are thankfully bad, probably, are Electromite, Sky Strikers, and Called by the Grave. I am so glad to see every single one of these go. And some other cards I absolutely hate. Red Reboot, there can be only one, and oh god, they printed as a thought this year. Oh boy, we have our work cut out for us on the Forbidden and Limited list, but before we do that, we gotta check out our decks. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this one. Please stick around until the ads play. 2018 was the year that the TCG finally broke, and looking at the extra deck, it's not hard to see why. Topologic Gumblar Dragon, repeatable firewall loops, as a thought, all of the nightmares. Each one of these cards was independently a problem in the trading card game and led to one of the most unfun years of Yu-Gi-Oh in recent memory. So I'm aiming to play an unfun deck that makes use of as many of them as possible, presenting for the second time, Wind Up. Now this Wind Up list looks a lot more like the modern combo decks you see on Master Duel, using Wind Up Carriers and Mady and Wind Up Zen Maintenance in order to get nigh infinite material for which to make unbelievable Link boards. 
We have one line that's Shockmaster for spells plus Azathot, which should functionally lock RJ out of the game. We have one line that's Topologic Gumblar Dragon for four, which should functionally lock RJ out of the game. And we have one line that's Trigate Wizard, which probably won't lock RJ out of the game, but maybe they don't need to be locked out of the game. Maybe they need to be taught a lesson. Anyway, not too much to say about this one. If you've ever watched any of my wind-up videos, you get the gist of it. And if you haven't, here's a great excuse to do it. One final thing I want to note before we jump into the games. If you normal summon a Thunder Dragon after activating its effect, you can just make Colossus. Enjoy. Yeah, we're running Thunder Dragons. Well, I don't know what to tell you, folks. Uh, I don't understand 2018 Yukio. I spent three entire days straight labbing this format so that I just understood the cards I'm reading. And this is the deck I felt that I had the most opportunities to understand. And there are a few cool builds of this deck as well. What you're seeing on screen may be familiar to you if you're familiar with a particular duelist, uh, one of a bit of renown I've heard by the name of Jesse Cotton, who took one of his first YCS wins with this particular build right here. I played around with it. There are a few problems with this list. Number one, far too five head for me. I could not figure out the lines that made it worth running all of these monsters that are just extenders. Number two, it doesn't have that much game going second compared to other builds in the format, even just of Thunder Dragons. And number three, it suffers the perennial junior journey problem of it loses to normal summoning a kaiju monster. So this was the way to go. Option two, and I wish I was dead creation, Chaos Thunder Dragon. The plan around this one, what makes it truly special, is that it is good at going into Azathoth, which is one of the most absurd cards in this format. It can make the Ptolemyus real easily, and then shift that into Azathoth on your opponent's turn, and this is a thing this deck can do with impunity. But again, this deck takes a little bit more combo knowledge than I have, and also, once again, loses a little bit more on the play. No, the deck I'm going with is the pr truly brain-dead version of this list. I'm running all the goddamn hand traps and a few thunder dragons. We're going to hope to make Colossus. If we get cherries, we're going to make Titan. Uh, and, and, and that's the whole game plan. Let's see if it works. RJ, I think things might kind of be spiraling out of our control. Yeah, it turns out that our jurisdiction seems to have lasted up until the printing of Nirvana High Paladin, and after that, we're a little bit out of our element. I gotta say, I kind of understand the scientists. I talked a lot of shit on them, but, uh... How are you supposed to make heads or tails of this format? I know that Yu-Gi-Oh! has had a couple of periods of um, really scary attendance, 2012, um, after the first couple of ban lists, but how on earth did it survive this? I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh! definitely had a zero dawn moment with the production of <laughs> Topologic Gumblar Dragon. <laughs> But that's the thing. If you go back and look, the tournament attendance during that period is only going up. People were chomping at the bit to get their ass for Gumbled. Uh, fun fact, this is, I think, my most successful period in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. I was, like, poised to clear day two of uh, this year's Nats, and um, I didn't <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> for Gumbled's you know. reasons. Here's here's your opportunity at redemption uh, against a person who has literally never seen a good half of these cards before. That's okay. I'm playing a deck that we did not have available. What are you going to choose, left or right? I don't know. Let me get right. Ah, you were right again. I, it was a rock. Here we go. Okay, well, I guess I would say may God have mercy on our souls, and I'll see you in hell. Oh, God. Yeah, that's pretty much just, exactly what I expected. Just going to look at my extra deck. Mm hmm Okay, yeah, that's that's going to be great when it gets to my turn, if it ever does. Helosaurus. Yeah. Normal wind-up magician. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll declare the effect of Danger Choosing Oko. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I ain't rolling a die. We're going after the middle one. You hit the literal only card in my hand that wasn't a snack. Yes! <laughs> no, I mean, that's great for me. Oh, uh, well, uh, you know. It just means you won't be able to do anything next turn. That's that's all that that means. The fuck do you mean next turn? Uh, let's go Zen Maity here. That's okay. I've got Valor. Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's see if you have two Valors. Magician. That's fine. We'll just do it like this. Okay. okay. Um, 
Magician, Zen Maity to the graveyard. We will grab Zen Maintenance. Oh, there it is. This card's <laughs> kind of nutty. Maintenance effect. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked. Uh, maintenance second effect. Mm -hmm. We will summon a rat. Okay. Rat effect, target magician. Okay. You now have a lot of monsters on the board. You have a shark in hand. Which I'm using now. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Magician? Yeah. Shark to decrease. That is kind of have to be okay, Jesus Christ. Magician. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that you have three magician, uh, let's get that shock master out of your extra deck. Oh, boo on you. All right, well, uh, unfortunately for you, um, you also have this deck <laughs> doesn't just do that. Not only do I have Shockmaster and Gumblar, I have Trigate. Well, first and foremost, we're going to go the three shark and the rat for uh, Carriers and Maity. We are going to try to do this. Uh, Zen Maity effect, uh, we are going to summon rat. Okay. That's kind oh, of the nutty it's thing so about horrifying. Ups. There's yeah. basically no choke point in the deck as long as they have all of their tools available. All right, we are just going to do a line that is exceptionally boring, but uh, does a good job of rebuilding. Okay. So we're going to go rat here, target uh, shark. Okay. Uh, we are going to go rat and unicorn for gumbles. God, you just have so much material to work with. Yeah. Overlay these two for emerald. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Uh, over here, not at gumbel point. Uh, are um, you we're sure? We're going to go emerald. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go emerald targets and maity, mm -hmm. uh, rat, and unicorn. Uh, we'll shuffle here. We'll put them in this zone. We're going to go... We're just going to make um, Tolmais. Oh, fuck. We'll go Gumblar here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for two. Okay. Uh, this is a random discard, correct? You get to pick. Mine are random. Well, we are going to discard Matrix and Roar. Oh, that. God. Okay. Big uh, surprise. We'll get Roar and Matrix here. What the fuck? You ain't getting shit. Were they not sent to the graveyard? Field to Grave. Oh, it is from Field to Grave. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't, sh I didn't draw from Emerald either. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, that's all I'm doing. We'll go to end phase. Uh, okay. I'll trigger the effect of Tolmias, yeah. and we'll put that Delteros under it. Yep. All right, go ahead. All right. Not so fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's Tolmias time, baby. Motherfucker has 2,400 attack. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to this. Uh, Gumblar. Good game. Oh, wait, Good no. Game. Excellent game. Let me resolve. Come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. All right, well, uh, good luck to you. Let's see how many hand traps I draw. All right, Thank my you. hand's beatable. Go for okay. it. This is just about the funniest line that we have available to us. Uh, it's not actually the funniest line. The funniest line uh, would be if I were to get Thunder Dragon off this, but I can't do you can't. Or if I drew into Thunder Dragon and used its effect. Uh, oh, instead... Yeah. There's a grand total of one thing that this deck does better than any deck, and that's normal summon guys that turn into Colossus. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Let's go. There it is. Yeah, and then I'm going to set two ba one back row and pass the Yeah, I was going to say. All right, anything in standby? Uh, nothing in standby. Main. Infip. You can't defeat me. No, I know. But he can. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just want it more. Just sometimes, sometimes you, you just, just want it more. Sometimes you know? you're just better sometimes at the game. Just want it more. I... It's okay. This hand also maybe does it combo. Gallus. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Show me the. Uh, oh, thank oh, the okay. fucking lord! <laughs> I'm playing like two additional spells in here. Uh, that's what six hundred. Yep. What I like about this card is it's just such a meaningful piece of interaction. Uh, we'll go Jackalope here. All right. This card. Well, it's Jackalope. Uh, 
you know, as much as that matters. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay. it's pretty much the same thing as if I had not hit. Uh, we're gonna normal wind up magician. God, we're just we're just gonna have everything, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, uh, Zen Maity. Uh, let's try for it. Yeah, sure. Magician. Let's try for it. Oh, cute. Um, we do still have a line, but it's not pretty, and I think it relies on a fifty-fifty. Just need a question of how much of a 50-50 it relies on. Uh, we'll go um, Jackalope. Okay. I don't know how much this one actually matters. We'll go for the left side. It really did. Uh, because Ooh. that's a hard one. Send these two to the grave. We'll go Zen Maintenance. Okay. Uh, Zen Maintenance. Will you? Oh, no. Do you have something else? I have... Oh, it's been infipped. Never mind. That motherfucker been infirmed <laughs> for ten minutes now. I thought I had a time delay. <laughs> All right, back to you. Okay, we'll draw for turn. Um, yep. not the worst card I have available to me. Battle phase. <laughs> Just yeah. Slap you with our big dragon. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll take eight here. All right, uh, main phase two, I will set another back row that you had no idea that I had and pass the turn. <laughs> Better not be an imperm. Oh, right on time, asshole. Normal rat. Okay. Uh, Do you special have a special shark to the normal summon of rat? Um, yes. The special summon of shark is fine. Rat target magician. Imperm. Shark go down to three. Mm-hmm. Uh, my friend, the carrier. Mm hmm Uh, carrier detach rat. Mm hmm Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, we'll summon rat here. Yo, that summons in diff- Oh, no, it's Zenmaity. Oh, <laughs> no! No! Oh, no. It's- No, these cards are crazy. Oh, my God. Um, this deck is insane. <clears throat> yeah, it's out of this world. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't really have anything too sexy to go into here. I um I actually cut the third Zen Maity to make room for stupid bullshit. So, uh, I'm a big fan of stupid bullshit myself. Yeah, I bet you are. Uh, we'll go rat here. Um, we're going to target magician. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Oh, don't you fucking hand trap magician. this. Uh, There's no shot it was out. I'm a dingo. I did not play around a very crucial card when I summoned this guy. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fine. Yeah, all right. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know, this is where I would go into a Zen Maity if I had one. Uh, we'll just make Unicorn here. Yeah, I figured that's what it was. Uh, to the extra with my dude. Wow. I'll take 2200. I don't know how this ended up in this caveman a game state. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> this, this, this my board loses to everything. So, uh let me get something here. Uh let me let me just draw into Thunder Dragon. Oh, excellent. The best card in my deck under these circumstances. Uh <laughs> Arch Phoenix Centric. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's just exile Are you sure that's here. a little too powerful? Yeah, I'm just going to pass. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Come on. Come on. Just show me. <laughs> We're doing great, folks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on. Come on. We have cards that do. That is okay. That to be fair, that is a card that does it here. Uh, this is the stupidest possible way I could do it, but it's also my favorite possible way we could do it. I'm gonna banish dark. I'm gonna use dark's mm -hmm. effect if that's okay with you. I just hope to God you don't have any other guys in hand. All right. Well, that's turn one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Draw for turn. Come on. Yes. That's the card I was going to search off of dark. Let's go. Thunder Dragon. Oh, yup. Yep. I will add two additional Thunder Dragons to my Yes, hand. yes, yes. I will normal summon Thunder Dragon. <laughs> I will yep. turn it into the boy. Yo, okay. And we will move him 
to the extra monster zone so you can't fucking Cerberus him, which is the thing he has. I didn't play around last time that made me so you, vulnerable to Unicorn. <laughs> you you want me to Cerberus him. Oh, Cerberus destroys, doesn't it? Yeah, it's terrible. Okay, I could have played around that whole thing before. Anyway. <laughs> All right. All right. Your go. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay, it's Pancratops time, fool. Um. Uh, let's go battle. I'll attack. Uh... I will use thunder. His his effect will banish a thunder from the eventually once I can find it on my goddamn UI. All right, we're gonna get it. Sure, close enough. We're gonna banish this card from the field. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Mean too well. Summon another Pankratops. You got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of gas. 2018, hell of a year. Amazing that Yu-Gi-Oh! survived this. Oh, you win the game. <laughs> Our bleakest one yet. Junk forward. <laughs> yeah. This guy, maybe. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> That's not a bad one. Uh, let's overlay for... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Zen yeah, um, For the third time in three games. Bada bang. Jesus fucking... Christ, yeah, you just win the game. I don't think there's anything that I can do. I think we grab a rat. Uh, let's go magician. Okay. Uh, bada bing. Let's go Zen maintenance. Zen maintenance effect. Yep. Grab shark. Mm -hmm. Magician effect. Have a special magician. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's I go rat effect, target, magician. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> magician effect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Summon shark. Mm -hmm. All right, now what are we doing, you know? I'm going to go two of the spent magicians mm -hmm. for a Ptolemyus. Okay. Zen maintenance, Spanish rat. We Ooh. should have a rat in deck still. Yeah. We'll go... Unspent magician will grab shark. Okay. Oh, I boarded out of emerald. <laughs> uh, why did I do that? You may be asking. Uh, I urge you not to think too hard about um, it. Um, I have the feeling that there's a particular, uh, a particular girl who hangs out with a particular type of plant that I should be Could worried be. about. Could be. Uh, we'll make fucking goblin here. <laughs> sure. Sure. Let's go Zen Maintenance Shark for Unicorn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Rat Target Magician. Uh, yeah. That is uh, sh okay. Shark. Wait, what is this goblin doing in that zone? He's just chilling. He's having a good old time. Mm -hmm. He got there from the Zen Maintenance. Uh... It's it's not weird actually. It's normal. It's 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 normal for it to be in a zone that a link doesn't point to. Well, a link doesn't point there now, but it used to. Oh, did it? Okay, I didn't realize that the unicorn came before it did. I'm gonna be honest with you. My eyes have been glazed over since <laughs> this combo started. We'll go uh, Gumbles here. Yeah. Get your ass over there. We'll go Gumbles. Okay. Here. Retaining the rat. There we go. That's that's funny. That's the funny line. And now we will link off the goblin and the rat for Nightmare Phoenix. <laughs> Get it? I I genuinely You're like, no, don't. I don't. Okay. I legitimate I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about either. Wait, I have Shockmaster in my deck. Y yeah. Why am I making an Azathoth line? <laughs> I was wondering myself. Gumbles. Well, Gumbles for two here. Okay. Uh, we will... Does that change what I sent? No, it doesn't. I'm going to send Dark and I'm going to send Roll. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll go to end phase and I'll put Satellar Knight Delteros under my guy. I'm shocked that that's what's happening right now. Go ahead. Okay. Draw for turn. Not so fast. Uh, yeah, don't get so excited. It's an imperm. Oh, 
no! Uh, unfortunately, uh -oh. there's still probably not a line for me that outsgumbles here. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm gonna go Sarko. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna banish. This is this is the funny way to do this play. I promise. Uh, I am going to banish dark and use dark. We add hawk to hand then. Uh, so I am going to use Thunder Dragon proper. We'll get the boys. I am going to use hawk, then summon roar. Uh, and then we are going to normal summon the Thundra from my hand. Mm -hmm. And we are going to link. It's just going to go for Cerberus here. So cute. This is adorable. Yep. Uh, we will use Cerberus. We'll use Roar. Uh, we're going to target Gumblar. I haven't used Matrix. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> just Colossus material. It is entirely Colossus material. It pluses when it's used for Colossus material. That's true. It does. Uh, we will use it to get... Uh, it's This one's going to shock you. We're going to get Matrix. Oh, I'm shocked. Well, battle phase. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Swing into the magician. Absolutely. Main phase two will... Uh, set a back row. Here we go. Not a great draw. Gonna be honest with you. I'm fucked. I'm I'll tell you right now. I think it's I think it might be over. I think it might be Jover. I'm gonna normal summon junk forward. Okay. One, two, three, four. It's Boral Sword time, baby. <laughs> okay, um uh, battle. Uh just a second. I think I have to let that go. Okay, I'll go back. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll attack Lossus. Are you going to do its thing? Yeah, I'll bring it up to, uh, whatever, 43 here. Yeah, 43. Yeah, it's permanent, but I don't think that I care that much. Uh, yeah, we'll use Lossus to keep ourselves alive. We'll banish Roar. Roar, yeah. To summon a dude. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'll go and Boral I Sword Effect. Yeah, you take three here. I'll go Boral Sword Effect, switch him to defense. Okay. Uh, we'll go into Serb. Okay, so I take four grand here. Uh, this works. is a 43, so you're taking 27. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then you got it. I'm, I, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh I don't know how I got out of the, that one. Your list is insanity. That deck is I, um, so good. I outplayed myself. I uh, During game two, I was like, this is easy. I have Shockmaster plus Azathoth. And then halfway through the combo, I just started playing as if Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries lasted an entire match. Well, that sucked. 2018. I think the best greatest the, year in Yu-Gi-Oh history by far. The best part was that we played perfectly. We, mean, we did. Really did. Not a single mistake was corrected over the course of that match. We truly showed the power and skill of editing. All right. Uh, with that, I guess, pretext out of the way, we have to ban like 90 extra deck cards. It's so true. you ready to just get it going? Yeah, let's go. All right. Number one, uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus. Uh, normal summon Thunder Dragon, make Colossus. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I was actually boarding into it on the play so that I could do it. My, uh, favorite, no. <laughs> my favorite thing about this card is if your opponent cherries it, you just Thunder Dragon fusion into Titan. Next uh, among cards that have to be banned, a card really should not have been printed. I, I really don't know what meetings this card made it out of. Get Gumblar Dragon the hell out of my format. It's really funny because like, Gumbles was in the anime and better in the anime. Like, they had to nerf it for TCG 
and it still was insane. I mean, uh, obviously, we didn't get to see it here. Goki's very playable in this uh, Junior Journey format. Uh, that's a deck that triggers it like fucking three times. It's just not enjoyable. Speaking of not enjoyable, two cards that end up in the same deck constantly. Uh, Elder Entity Azathoth and uh, Shockmaster. Whoops, we forgot about Shockmaster. Uh, Shockmaster calls spell into standby phase. Make Azathoth off of a Tolmais. That's awful. It's pretty terrible. And I just really love that the exact same conditions make both of these cards. Yep. Speaking of the exact conditions that make those cards, uh, there's a boss monster that I never want to see touch this series, and that is our good friend, the greatest drum of all time, the Rongo Bongo. We're gonna ban that card. Yeah, as soon as we take this bullshit out of the format, that's the next broken thing. Oh, speaking of rank fours that we just like forgot about, Laval Chain is still legal. We can't, that can't happen. Yeah, we are not enabling any further loops with this card. Speaking of not enabling loops, uh, I personally am just against the nightmares. I know that you hate them conceptually, but unfortunately, as you've also said, they are required in order to play a single deck for the next three years coming, but there is one that we can at least get away with banning, and that's Nightmare Goblin. Yeah, Unicorn does a lot of heavy lifting. Goblin, not so much. Uh, Goblin's partner in crime as well, Summon Sork. Get her out of here. Not allowed. And speaking of things that you can summon to your opponent's side of the field with the Master Lock and the creator of the worst U-Link combo in history, Nightmare Corruptor Ibley. We are not allowing that shit here. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, here's some stupid cards. Um, Pankratops. Uh, I love Pank. I think it's really cool that decks become Pank beatdown in games two and three, uh, but when you can normal summon him, it really takes the team. You can normal summon him! You can normal summon him. I spent the entire second game with two Panks in my hand. Like, oh darn, how do I get these out of my hand? <laughs> I'm gonna jump into a vat of acid. <laughs> I'm oh glad I'm not God. the only person who uh, nearly threw the match because of <laughs> forgetting about the rules of this game. Makura. There's one for you. Yeah. Uh, cards that cheat trap cards out of hand include that and probably a card that we need to get rid of specifically in this format, Infinite Impermanence. That card was I love everything Infinite. in this match and allows you to just ignore the set rules if you feel like it. Last two are a little more contentious. Well, this one isn't. Teak Boo. Uh, we took out yeah, Gozen yeah. and Rivalry. I have a conceptual different This I hate that card. And uh, one that's a little interesting, one thing that I dislike about Konami's link design policy is like, for some reason, at some point, they decided having four guys on field means you just are allowed to win the game for free. Uh, access code, of course, is the number one culprit, but I'd actually like to ban Boral Sword. I'm very happy to hit every link four that wins you the game and has generic material, and Boral Sword is the first one to have that text on it. Uh, I do also want to think about cards that end the game for particular types of decks. Things like Called by the Grave come to mind. Fortunately, that card is not at all good in this format it's because terrible. it is a quick play spell, but there is a card that might as well be a quick play spell, but for its color that does end the game for trap decks, and that's Red Reboot. All right, and with that, uh, we've got a couple of uh, silly limits. Uh, there's like a Dark Warrior combo deck. I'm sure anyone tangentially familiar with the TCG probably just already understands. That means we probably have to semi-limit Mali. After that, we need to limit every single danger monster. Every uh, single one of them. We just, we actually have to limit every one. It's a matter of being able to normal summon Bigfoot here, folks. <laughs> yeah. And with that, I think we've saved the series. Yeah, you know, um, nothing could possibly go wrong in the next episode. I'm sure nobody has any cards left to them that could break the format. These next couple are going to be rough, folks. Yeah. Implying this one wasn't. Mm-hmm.